Craig Maxey here with MyDJKJ.com and going to show you how to set up your filler music or film music with Virtual DJ Studio 6.9. Now when you get your laptop you'll also receive a hard drive full of music and it's going to have both uh, your regular music that you'll hear on the radio or what we like to call our film music and it's also going to be set up with our karaoke music on the hard drive. So once you hook up your hard drive, make sure you're using the same USB port on your laptop that you always use. That way once you index it, you don't have to worry about indexing it again. And make sure that um, you have a good cable and it's a good secure connection. And once you do that, you, we already shown you how that you can add your karaoke songs. Now I'm going to show you how to add your film music. Now you feel me filler music your player is over here and all we have to do to add a song is we have a thing installed on your laptop called search everything now if you're one of those karaoke hosts that are used or DJs that are using your own laptop you have to download a software a simple software that we call search everything once that is downloaded and installed it doesn't take up a lot of resources and hardly any resources on your computer and it makes searching for music much faster and easier than the one that comes with Windows. So <clears throat> if we open up our file system, we have our external hard drive plugged in. We go to where we see computer. We're going to go down to mydjkj.com. Your number might be different and you might have a different letter here. Now the letter is just a drive association. So if that changes on you or if you have issues of your music being pulled up in your music database or on your filler music it looks something like this where all of them have zeros that means it's not reading your music okay so you might want to check your drive letter if the drive letter is different well your film music has to be replaced in there and I'll show you how to do that and you'll have to re-index your karaoke which you can look at the video on that and that'll tell you how to re-index uh, and you'll use quick index on your uh, on your karaoke software on Virtual DJ Studio. So let's go to mydjkj.com. The number is the number of the hard drive that you have and it is inventoried under your name. Okay, we go down to uh, on this one we want to go down to uh, music is all of your music. If you click on that, that'll show that and so forth. So, so what we want to do is we want to click on the external hard drive. We want to uh, click on that and it's going to pull them over here and this is going to be the easiest way to do it and then you're going to click on that and that's a left click and then you're going to do a right click it's got to be highlighted in order for the search everything software to show up and it's going to pop up in this little windows uh, menu and then you're going to click on search everything again with a left click so it's going to be a left right left clicks okay so now we can kind of minimize that. I never like to close it out because I like to use that and I'll show you how we use it. Now we can actually search for everything. Notice where the cursor is that is blinking. Never delete the rest of this otherwise it doesn't know where it's searching for the music. So this way it knows all the music that's in there it's going to search for. Now you can simply click on a file and it's going to open up. And you can scroll down and look at all the different music that we have. Now all of this is just film music. So if we wanted to search for a song, I like to kind of go over here, click on our search bar, and do something like, um, let's say we wanted to do the Cupid Shuffle. So we do Cupid Shuffle, and that's going to pull up our music. Then what I like to do is take it and drag it into one of the karaoke players. As you see, not always will it work. So we OK it. Now, the reason we don't want to delete these files is because they, they're still good files. They'll play in other players, and they're actually on somebody else's Virtual DJ Studio. It may work. These are one of the few flaws that I see that Virtual DJ Studio has. It's been in all of their um, versions as of to date, even with 2015, and hopefully that can be fixed. But if we were to just double-click this, we would see it's going to play on Windows Media. So it's not a bad file. There's just something with it that Virtual DJ Studio isn't liking. So 
what I like to do, that's why you'll also have a couple of different versions. So that one seems to work, okay. And then all we want to do is just drag that over into our player. We can place it anywhere we want to. And then, of course, if we're a player, there you see it. Now, as you see in our film music, we have a few of them that are blank. And what's happened there is those are bad files. And what I mean by a bad file, there were a good file when placed in there. But if you've moved your music around or added more music, um, usually if it's in the karaoke or if it's in the um, filler music section, it means it's been moved, it's been deleted, or something of that sort. So what we want to do is we want to find that song. In this case, let's go to the Jesse one. And if we just hover over it, it's going to show us on the screen the full name of that file. It's pretty long. So the name of the song is Bang Bang. So we want to search for that. We want to replace that file because we still like it in our playlist, but we've just moved that file or deleted it, and so now we got to replace it. So we go Jesse, and we want to go Bang Bang. Now, search everything is more forgiving, so it doesn't have to be detailed like it is in the karaoke when we're looking up for karaoke music. We can actually enter in on this one the artist and the name of the song in any order we want to, and it's usually going to find it and pull it up. We find a, a file that we like, and I like to use the billboard ones. Once again, I'm going to drag it up into my karaoke play. If you notice, nothing errored out, so I know it's a good version. And now I'm going to drag it in to where I had the other one is. So now. So I know it's going to work. So now we know that the software is working, and we'll just stop that. We're going to go up to where the other one, or I'm sorry, down where the other one is, and we're going to just simply hit the delete key on our laptop or on our keyboard. And that's going to delete the old file. So if you see these, or sometimes if I send you a playlist and it shows all of those being zeroed out, that's how you're going to simply fix that and make your playlist work. So you can see what songs need to be in that playlist. And then don't forget to go back in and save that. And we do that simply, whoops, I hit the wrong one, list of options. So to save your playlist, you're going to go to list of options, and it's going to say save to playlist. And that one is our school safe songs. So everything in there would be, uh, a, you know, safe for schools. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, in picking school safe songs that's not saying that that song is still appropriate that may not be appropriate for that particular school so keep that in mind if sometimes it's just the innuendos and and um, you know things of that the style those are the types of things you also got to think about but they will be guaranteed to be clean if they re you receive the list from us um, but still kind of go in there and think about you know would anaconda by Nicki Minaj is that really fitting for this young group of, of children so think about the age of your school uh, group and then go from there so that is how you're going to fix these errored out files or like I said it's also whenever I send you a playlist it, you can load that playlist straight into virtual DJ studio and all you got to do is once again go to your files you're going to double click music and this is why I don't like to close it out because now I can go through my artists which I have to search. Um, I could go down to my playlist and this way I can just browse and find my songs if I want inspiration or whatever. If I know exactly what I want. I'll click on the search everything. I'm going to highlight just that part, leave a space behind that, and then behind my quotes, and then. I'm just going to start typing. I don't have to hit delete or, or, or anything like that. I can just start typing what I want. And that would be my playlist. So I can either search for it under playlist, my search everything, or I can just do it underneath my files. So if I go to my playlist, let's just do it this way, since that was how I started to show you how to do it. If we click on playlist, I'm going to minimize this. If you look in here, we have all the different playlists. Like I keep some wedding stuff in here. Um, 
you know, if we do a wedding, this is a good way to set up your playlist. You have their ceremony, the reception, the wedding ceremony. Um, we also have different things where we have classic rock. So if a place wants country and classic rock, we can do that. Uh, Christmas, clean songs are also okay for the schools. Uh, they're usually more of a, a mix just to have a good clean songs. If you have a, a some bars don't like it to be too foul. So you can go to that. Um, but if we click on our school save songs, we can double click that and oops, double click it made it uh, come up and oh because we're just looking at our playlist. That's right, we're not saving. So anyway, so we're just in our files. But if we want to do a playlist um, and I send you one through let's say like email or whatever, <clears throat> you can simply just go over to your software list of options we're going to save that playlist and we're going to save that under schools school save songs we can save it because we've updated it with a good song and replaced a bad song now a couple of things we can do when saving a playlist we can simply clear this out list of options we can open up our playlist through here or let's cancel that and if I went to um, clear if I went to clear my playlist all I have to do is if a playlist is sent to you simply drag it and drop it and there you go you have your playlist and as you see it's playing now it may not play on your computer because your files may be set up different then all you have to do is once again click on the song that you want to get rid of add the new song and yes it may take some time but at least it matches your computer and you still had a way of seeing what songs you have so once again Craig with mydjkj.com virtual DJ studio 6.9 how to get songs into your player list you're using search everything and this is going to be your filler music in between songs any questions please contact Craig or Larissa at mydjkj.com once again practice enjoy and have a safe show